Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games. Buying for this game is $200. So, opening is forced to here, get 3-bet, heads up, just gonna be a call. In position here, decent flop, flop, middle pair, backdoor spades. Uh, so checks us, we'll go check here. Take the turn, pretty reasonable turn card here. And then if we get checked to, I'll probably go for a bet, small. And if they bet, just call here. So it goes for a bigger bet here, just call, take the river. And unfortunately, not the river I was looking for. We blocked the back door, ace high spades. To be fair, they might check call, turn spades, ace high. Um, let's see. I don't know that I'm calling this river here. So let's get rid of some of the bluffs here too. So like not that they're betting 9-8 here on the river, but that's some of like what they would be betting. If there is a complete brick. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to let go of the 4 here. So open 4 is get 3 bet. Uh, it's not a huge size. They are a bit deeper, which is some implied odds, but they don't throw it very often, so when we hit, we're more likely to get paid. So here we flop a set. Not perfect that it's all spades, but I do think still check raise here. Trying to target their over pairs. If they have over pair of the spade, they still have a decent amount of outs, but raise here, and if we get called jam any non-spade turn. Calls ace of diamonds turn. This is actually kind of a tricky one, so like their worst pairs aren't going to call as often. Who's the ace? Is the ace king of the spade? I'm actually gonna get really tricky here. I know there's some bad rivers. This is maybe too, too tricky. But I'm gonna check with the intention to call. And if they put in a bet, the ace pair's under one to one, so if they bet, we'll just get it in. Ooh, that's a good river though. I think I'm just gonna raise, hoping they call it kings, queens, or jacks with a spade here. I'll go for the jam. This is actually a bad turn. I decided to check the turn. Obviously, I was giving up three rivers, but go for it here and just hit the fold. So ace a hard card to get paid on, I think. Here we open Jack Nine suited, called by the small blind flop trips. East nine nine. Check raise, just gonna call here. Super dry board. That's again just call, and I think we call any river. Obviously, prefer not to see a diamond. An ace, honestly, I wouldn't expect them to be check raise like this unless they had ace nine, maybe, and even then probably would just call. So mainly just don't want to see a diamond, really. I have a spades river. Can even have worse fans that are going for value here. They could have like eight nine suited, ten nine suited. So no way we're fooling if they jam. See there, ten nine, perfect. Oh, pipped by one there in our favor. When they flat small blind too, it's gonna be able to revolve around like ace nine suited, ten nine suited, eight nine suited. Sort of really good spot with jack nine hearts. Um, here nines open on the gun, small blind three bets. We flat bets flop four on the turn. That's again, this is interesting on this double pair board. I'm curious if they would do this with aces or not. I'm going to call one more. And then if they decide to jam river, I'm probably going to fold river. But hopefully it goes check, check just enough and we win here. We, we're getting three to one on the turn there. And jams river, I'll decide to fold here. Big flop over here. So we open cutoff button, three bets we call. We flop the ace with the ace high flush draw. So easy check call here. Take the turn, and we turn the nuts, nice. Check here, six on the turn. Checks, and seven on the river. I think the seven, he might check back quite a bit here, so I'm gonna bet big myself. So if he has like ace, jack, ace, 10 on the seven, he might check. If this is like the, a 10 or a jack, I'm probably gonna check the check raise, but I think the seven, I'm gonna go big here. So best bluffs here are gonna be like two broadways of the backdoor spades, maybe. Can I have a boat, please? Oh my gosh, they do. That's so sick. Oh, that's so disgusting. So no way we're fully in the nut flush there. Especially when you like think through his range as far as like boats he's gonna have. Uh, we're mostly. I, mean, I guess he can have like the Ace Seven suited. Um, have Ace Four suited, but be brutal there with the Ace High flush and a three bet pot. Button opens, defend big blind, check raise the flop. And then we'll check turn here. So do you pick up a gush as well to go with the king queen? That's small in the turn, just to call. And then eight river check. So if they had something like seven six, they called flop gets there. Obviously queen jack came in. This is a kind of peculiar spot on the river here. If they bet big, it goes for jam. Kind of interesting as we block the good top sets, top pairs, and the in the two pairs, sorry, in straights. Um, I think this eight actually is pretty bad because, like I said, seven six, and then like less likely to be bluffing like 
eight seven here. I think it's reasonable to do, but I think a lot of times people will check some of those hands. So I think I'm gonna fold. Whereas if this river is like a three or a four, I might consider some pretty big hero calls. Go for the squeeze here. So this is open two flats. One player is already in for two bucks because they're posting, so that range would be wider too. It's actually a really good spot to go for it. Nice to actually have a hand. So I see two folds over the button. It's pretty short. And then I'm going to bet really small here. So I'm just going to bet 10%. My intention is to call if this player just rips it in. I know it's a dry board where there's not as many draws, but... Uh, against like a min click raise, we'll just call and keep the bluffs in. It's really ace. Nice check. Call it off. Has queen two suited for the bluff. We're good. Cut off opens here. Three betting big blind ace four suited. Some flatting as well. See the call, flop a gut shot. Start with bet here, queen five three. This potentially could be a, a triple barrel candidate. Uh, the five not perfect, but I think still betting again. We do block five four, one of the five four suited, which is good. We're gonna have to pick out times to do this. I would still be going for value with like king queen ace queen or at least ace queen king. So yeah, I think we're gonna bluff jam this one here. Go for it. Hoping for the fold, obviously. Hopefully it means fold. Usually they say that and then call. Oh. Gives us the speech and just has ace queen. Oh, that's so painful. Falling off with aces. And then calls me an idiot. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have a friend of stream tag there anytime soon. <laughs> don't think he likes me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right, over here with queen nine, open small blind, big blind call. Check the flop here. Flop top pair, queen seven seven. And set for check call versus half. Turn three, check. Um, River hoping to see clubs miss as well as like six five, five four kind of stuff here. Goes for overbet, we'll call. And king on the river, check. So if he jams river here, it's actually kind of interesting to call. I don't think he's going to, like, just... He's not going to have king's pre. His value range is just a 7+, plus, right? Loves miss, 6-5, five, 5-4 five, miss. I don't think he's going to bluff all those. That was the problem we run into here. Let's jam. I'm thinking about calling this one. Oh, mostly when he's, like, 6-5, five, 5-4 five, suited. That had like the backdoor flush or not even necessarily clubs, but I'm thinking his value range at this line is just saying he's a seven, right? I blocked nine seven of spades. To be fair, though, like defending big blind is gonna have a lot of offsuit stuff here. So I think I'm gonna call down versus Hunter here. Because again, it's it's just a seven or nothing, basically. As the seven. Alright. Level ourselves into a call, no good. Um oh, or sorry, limp open. We're gonna call Jack Ten suited. Three ways to the flop ace jack four rainbow. All our small size here. Turn eight, check turn. And I was gonna fold the turn, but I think it gets to the size we'll call. Queen River check. And this might be one if he bets river IG as a bluff. So I think I, I would call King Ten against third on the turn. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to bluff jam this one. Same with 10-9. Actually, 10-9 doesn't call flop. I can have king-10, though. All right, I'm going to run it. Go for the bluff jam. So because of his turn size, I will have king-10 here in range. And then I think jack-10 makes sense for our best bluff. Call the flop for third. Call turn for third. And jam river. You do get the fold, though. I have cutoff open, button flat, squeezing queens. So see, this player goes call, call, a7-2, start the small bet here. Um, eight on the turn, we'll check the turn. Small size call, four on the river check. And then jam, so... 
I'll have some ace tax here myself, so I think we'll call the ace tax. I mean, fold queens here. I think it's probably okay. Goes smooth the rest of the way. All right, uh, pretty sick spot with queens actually. So open three bet, we four bet, and just rips it in. Hold five bet. Uh, I mean, folding queens, we put in thirty six bucks feels gross, but. All aces, call kings. I mean, fold jacks, easy queens. I mean, it's what ace, king, kings, and queens. That's maybe too nitty, but it snap jam it too. All right, this is super tight, but I'm gonna let it go this time. All right, kings over here gonna put in a pretty healthy four bet against a small three bet against this player. Flats, 10-7-2. So I'm going to be using not the most balanced of sidings here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bet half, which will leave about 1-1 one to one SPR going to the river. Or the turn, sorry. Player's done some leading in spots, though, so we'll see. Haven't played a four-bet pot with them yet, but go for half pot here. Ham's call. Kings and ace-10 with the diamond. Hold. Nice, good hold there with Kings. All right, YouTube, that wraps up today's cash game session, and we do book another win here. So played for just under six hours, 2,453 hands, plus 467. Uh, continue this cash game heater that we're on, which feels incredible after what's been a tough start to the year. So hope you guys enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.